Welcome to Cubby Corner on SouthBendCubs.com. I'm South Bend Cubs broadcaster Darren Pritchett. I'm going to have company in the broadcast booth this year. I'd like to welcome Brendan King to the team. And Brendan, what's it like to be a part of the South Bend Cubs organization? It's an honor, Darren. My family and I have been Cubs fans our entire life. We're from the South Chicago suburbs, and we've been wearing Cubby blue forever. So to join this organization and the Chicago Cubs organization is an honor, and very excited to get going in the booth with you. What is on your broadcast resume that's led you to the Midwest League? Well, my first year in baseball was in the Cape Cod Baseball League with the Orleans Firebirds. It was just a beautiful area and had a really fun summer. And then last year was my first year in pro ball with the Boise Hawks in the Northwest League. That was short season. Let's put Brandon right to work because he had a chance to talk to a former South Bend Cub player who's getting set to be a part of the Chicago Cubs spring training in Arizona. Here in the South Bend Cubs clubhouse, happy to be joined by Chicago Cubs prospect and three-year South Bend Cubs player, Vimael Machine. Vimael, thanks so much for sitting down with us today. We know you have a very busy schedule leading up to spring training as we're just a short time away from when you're going to take that flight to Mesa, Arizona to join the Cubs. But for now, you're here in South Bend getting ready. What are some of the things you're trying to add to your game or touch up on uh, while you're here in the South Bend to get ready for Mesa? Well, first of all, thank you. Um... Two things, I've been working with my swing, trying to be more consistent and my, in the weight room, I'm trying to, you know, gain more weight, more muscles, but I've got to watch what I eat. So I've been trying to, you know, balance those two. And, and like, as a grind, we all know that 142 games plus playoffs. So you, you, you're trying to be ready every day because it's a grind. Well, last year with the South Bank Cubs, you had a career year. You played in 72 games with the Cubs, uh, hit 10 home runs, drove in 57 RBIs. But focusing more on your journey now to the Cubs, you were a four-year player at Virginia Commonwealth University with the Rams in the Atlantic 10. And going to VCU, you moved here from Puerto Rico. Was playing college baseball something that maybe you always had in your mind or something that just came up as an opportunity and you took it? Me and my parents uh, used to talk all the time about education. Uh, we take that very serious. Uh, it's something that we need to, you know, do it. You never know when it's going to be the last time we play baseball, and it's important to have a plan B. So we talk about it, and I made the decision of going to VCU, and it was a great experience. Now, before you went to VCU, though, you were actually drafted uh, once before you got drafted by the Cubs. You were drafted by the Cubs in the 10th round in 2015, but in 2011, you were drafted by the San Diego Padres in the 29th round. So going to college, what, did you feel like getting that education was a little bit more important? Oh, it was, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I got drafted as a catcher, and to be honest, I wasn't ready to go to the next level as a catcher. So I thought I made the right decision of going to college and uh, prepare myself, get, uh, be more mature as a person and as a player. And once again, I thought I made the right decision of going to college. Vimael, you're from Puerto Rico. You came here to the States from there to play college baseball, but obviously a lot has happened in Puerto Rico since the hurricane. So do you want to give us a little update on how everybody's doing back home? My family right now, they're doing great, thank God. Um, at first it was a struggle communication-wise. When it happened, I was in Myrtle Beach, and I didn't hear from them for seven days. And, you know, as a, as a part of the family, you get worried. You're far. And it was a struggle, but when I heard from them and I heard they were doing good, it made me feel better, obviously. Uh, prog Progression-wise, is doing better. We still have no power at home, but, you know, we have generators, all those stuff that help us, you know, move around the house and stuff and charge our utilities. So other than that, and I think we're moving forward the way we're supposed to do it. And I think we're going to keep growing. And like we all, like we all Puerto Rican says, it's, gonna, it's like basically a new island. And it's going to be good because now we're going to be together all in one country, which is good. Now you're in your fourth year with the Chicago Cubs organization. This is going to be your third spring training coming up. In your first season, you spent, you spent some time with Eugene and also South Bend. And your second season, you actually saw some time in AAA with the Iowa Cubs. You played 14 games with Iowa. Now, playing in AAA as a young player, that doesn't happen for everybody. So what, for, what were some lessons that you think you took out of AAA in those 14 games? I mean, in, in the dugout, you learn a lot of things. Um, I even pitched in AAA, believe it or not. Uh, but yeah, it was a great experience. I learned from a lot of players that they have, they have, they already had experience in the big leagues before. And I mean, you take little things and you add it to yourself and, you know, get better as a player. And you even ask questions of them. They're always 
uh, there for you to help. So it was a, it was a great experience. You know, you talked about pitching in AAA, but to this point with the Chicago Cubs organization, you've kind of been a super utility man. Through your time in the Cubs organization, you've played all the infield spots, a little bit outfield, and like you said, even pitched. Do you think being a super utility man is something that can help you take you to the next level? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, if you play more than one position, that's always a plus for you. Uh, so I always have this mentality that I'm ready all the time. Whenever the coach needs me or the organization needs me to play, I'm always going to be ready to go and help them no matter well, no matter what. Now, like we talked about, last year with South Bend was a career year for you. In 72 games, you hit 10 home runs, drove in 57 RBIs, and hit 320. But before South Bend last year, you had only hit one home run in your career. Now you hit 10 in 72 games. What changed? Was it a new swing, or was it just more confident? I would say it was the my pre-work, uh, my BP, working with the heading coaches, you know, prepare myself mentally before the game. I would say all those things helped me a lot this year. I used to have, I used to think a lot at the plate the last couple of years, and this last year was different. I felt more confident in myself and my swing. I saw pitches better. So I think just the way I worked, the, the early work was the, was the main thing. And I always try to be consistent, and it worked out. So let's see what happens this year. Now, before we go, uh, you've been in every team in the Cubs organization except for Double A. What's it going to take for you to keep on moving up the Cubs organization? Just have a positive mentality. Uh, be ready to go. Don't take anything for granted. Uh, like I said, be ready to go no matter what. Uh, just go out there in Arizona, give all my effort, and let's see where it takes me. Well, Vimayo, we hope one day we'll be able to watch you at Wrigley Field in those blue pinstripes in front of all those great Cubs fans. Until then, have a great time at spring training. Really appreciate you sitting down with us today. Brennan, that's your first chance to meet Vimayo. What did you walk away from the conversation? Well, I think his comments just show that there is no offseason in baseball. He's been working hard leading up to spring training here in South Bend, and the fact that he had a career last year here I think creates for a great opportunity to have success in 2018. All right, Brendan, thank you very much. That's going to wrap up Cubby Corner for this week. But join us every week leading up to opening day for Cubby Corner on SouthBendCubs.com. For Brendan King, I'm Darren Pritchett. Have a great day.